Get this guy a taller ladder, it's unsafe. We need a taller ladder. I'm supposed to be two steps down. I'll get him a taller ladder. We're in the sheetrock stage at the Mulholland Project. Let's go check it out. It looks a lot bigger. You know what? You check these walls for straightness with your left hand. If you're right-handed, you check it with your left hand. Because believe it or not, you can, you can feel it. You can feel a hump in the wall a lot more with your less sensitive hand. With your more sensitive hand. I've had many people check the walls, and they uh, they don't they don't see it when they when they check it with their right hand. But if they do it with their left hand, you'll. you'll see it. Oh, it's true. It's true. Let me see if I can find a spot that needs work. But they did such a good job, I can't find any spot that needs it. Oh, this wow. One needs, this one needs a little sanding right here. You see? You saw that? Hello. Yes, sir. Needs a little sanding. We'll be touching all that. Oh, okay. You haven't done it yet. This is going to take a lot of texture in here to make this look good. Oh. <laughs> Caught you. So, so I got you. Like, uh, How about in here? Is it still wet? Yeah. We're still going to be touching this up. Yeah, over here on this side as well. I'm trying to give her a sample. How about, about hump? But you can get oh, a hump. If no you don't have no so, humps. That will be hard to find. That's going to be hard yeah. to find in the other work. There you go. <laughs> I wanted to give her an example of, uh, it really feels flat, very, very flat. They busted it out, with, we call this busting it out wide. How many knives did you, you use, two, a 12 inch knife, twice? Yes, on those. Twice? Yes. Yeah. So sometimes you'll see guys do, do uh, tape of loading this wide or this wide, but this one comes all the way to here. You can see how wide this is, all the way to here. That really spreads it out so that you can't feel that hump in the wall between the joints. It's really good work. Very, very, very straight corners. Of course, we've got the, the rounded corners. Now you get to see what the finished product looks like. They've done some texture in here on the corners first. Look over here, what you're putting here. You can see where they sprayed it first to be able to get it into the uh, corners. That way it doesn't get too heavy and then they can shoot the walls in a light texture. They shot all the corners first. It looks beautiful. Do you see the stilts? This has all been shot, so be real careful. Yeah, working on the stilts. Get this guy a taller ladder, it's unsafe. You need a taller ladder. I'm not going to make it It's supposed to be two steps down. No. Get him a taller ladder. We don't want nobody hurt. Stilts. Yeah, or you can use stilts. <laughs> okay, I want you to feel this with your right hand. Turn around like I am. You feel anything? You feel straight, right? A little. Don't go up and down. Feel pretty straight. Yeah. I'll use your left hand. Let's see if you notice anything. I guess. Where? Right in the middle, right? Notice it more? Yeah, more. Uh huh. You notice it, there's a little bit of a hump right there. But you don't really feel what, it. Do you have more calluses on this hand? It's more sensitive. Do you have a left hand that's more sensitive? That's weird. Yeah, it's a little tricky. That a lot of people, and especially on the slightly bigger ones, you can uh, you can actually find more imperfections with your left hand than with your right hand. We got good light in here. It just shows that a lot of dust can have to go has to go on to do a little little area like this in a, in a bedroom. Yeah. We have the dust proofing, we have the floor. floor protection, and so forth. That's all needed whenever you're going to spray a texture or do sanding of the wall, even something like this. This is all dry. They're going to they're gonna blend this all in, and then they're going to have that texture to blend in too, and they'll really do a good job of feathering it all in when they spray it. There it is.
it is getting real close. Once the sheetrock goes in, the texture, then we start painting, we do the trim work, put in the beautiful cabinetry, the tile work's gonna go in next. So we got a, the next video will have a lot of elements coming in at the same time. And I know you're gonna, you're just gonna really enjoy, like we are excited to see what this master suite remodel is gonna look like.